Hey, welcome back to K-12 Analytics Engineering. I am Marco Selkozer, and today we are gonna kick off a multi-part series all about NWEA map data. So in this first video, we are gonna cover how to actually retrieve your map data from their API and store it in Google Cloud Storage. The next video is gonna cover how to query those CSV files and from Google BigQuery to create tables for analytics. And finally, the third video is gonna cover how to visualize that data in Google Data Studio using some custom visualizations that are not actually available out of the box. The way we are going to extract data from NWEA map is by using the data export scheduler in order to create a zip file that one can download and it gets refreshed every single night. You may already be using this because you can create a schedule and you can jump in and you can manually download the zip file, but what we are going to do today is we are gonna look at how to use a Google Cloud function to actually retrieve that zip file automatically every night and move that into Google Cloud Storage. Previously in this channel, I showed this diagram on my ideal tech stack, and we had this ETL box that was meant for data sources where they don't have an EdFi integration, and so you have to create your own ETL process to get that data into BigQuery. Today we are going to be covering one of my favorite two tools for this type of process, and that's Google Cloud Functions. Google Cloud Functions are these great lightweight functions that are meant to do one small thing and do it really well. Another great thing about Google Cloud Functions is that the first two million invocations a month is also free, which is awesome. So there's a good chance you're actually not gonna pay anything for Google Cloud Functions for this specific ETL. This ETL does use Google Cloud Storage to store the CSV files, but that also is really inexpensive, so I don't think you're gonna end up getting charged all that much, if anything. Now we're gonna jump over to my desktop, and we're gonna look at how to deploy a Google Cloud function that's gonna handle the ETL process for NWEA map, and how to schedule that so that it's run every single night. All right, so here we are on my GitHub repo for this project. We are just gonna follow the directions below in the README. The first thing we want to do is we want to schedule a recurring export in NWEA map. So the way that we do that is we log into the admin interface. We go to view reports, map growth reports. That's going to take us to this page where we have a data export scheduler. So we expand that and we click on schedule a data export. Here we want to enable the data export scheduler. We want to set the frequency to daily. When you do set the frequency to daily, it's gonna auto select the current term. So here I'm in fall 2021, 2022. We have an export type of comprehensive or combined. You can do either here. I recommend comprehensive and that's the one that I'll be talking about in future videos as well. You set any of the uh, parameters that you'd like below under contents and then you click save. And what's going to happen is that this will create an export that gets recreated every night. So if you look at the bottom, I have one for my current term that I can download here. And this export is a zip file that is full of a bunch of CSVs. Going back to our GitHub repo, the next thing we're going to do is to deploy the actual cloud function. And so there's a few commands here that we're going to follow. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to our Google Cloud project. Now this is just a blank project that I created. We are gonna activate our Cloud Shell, which you've seen me do in other videos as we're deploying things on Google Cloud. And we're gonna paste that first command. So this is gonna clone the actual code from GitHub into your Google Cloud Shell. Now we'll go back, we'll follow the next one, which is to CD into the directory. So we'll do that. So now if I do PWD, you see that I'm in the directory, ls-l, we can see the files that are in the directory. Go back. So now I have to copy an environment file, which is called .env prod, and I'm gonna make a .env file. So I run that command. And then now the readme tells me that I need to actually complete the .env file by filling in my NWEA map username and password. So you can do this through the command line if you're more comfortable uh, that way, or you can click on open editor and you'll actually have a cloud IDE where you can edit the file directly. Here we are in the cloud IDE. You do have to go to view toggle hidden files to be able to find the .env file. So I do that and I have my .env. So here I'll fill in my NWEA map username and password and save the file. All right, so I did that and I'm back here on the terminal. 
I'll go back to the readme and there's only one more thing to run, which is bash deploy.sh. So this runs a file called deploy.sh that has a bunch of gcloud commands in it. So you can read through this and you can get an idea of what's going on. I'll give a quick voiceover though. At the top, I am importing my .env file to bring in those variables that I just set. And then I'm enabling a bunch of APIs in my Google Cloud project for things like Cloud Functions and Cloud Scheduler, which is gonna actually run the function on a schedule. Then I'm creating a service account for all of this work and I'm granting it the appropriate roles. Then I'm creating a secret that is gonna store my NWEA map password. So the Cloud Function does have some environment variables, but when it comes to the password, I want that extra secure. And so I have that in a secret and then the cloud function retrieves it from there. I create a Google Cloud storage bucket here. And then I deploy the actual Google Cloud function and then I schedule it to be run on a schedule. This is running every single day at 5 a.m. Central Time, but you can update it to whatever time you'd like. All right, back here on the terminal, I'm going to run bash deploy.sh. I authorize the call. And now it's just going through all of those things that I showed you in the deploy.sh script. It's running each of those gcloud commands for me. My script finished running and I've refreshed the page. So under resources here, I have my Google Cloud function. If I click into that, I see NWEA map ETL. And so this is the actual function that's gonna interact with the NWEA map API, get that zip file, unzip it, and move the CSV files to Google Cloud storage. It is retrieving the password from secrets or the secret manager. So if I go to secret manager, I can see that the script created a secret called NWEA map password that is housing that information and it's encrypted. If I go to Google Cloud scheduler, then I'll see that there is a job created that will run at 5 a.m. every single day to actually retrieve the latest CSV files. And I can hit run now over here on the right. And if I go back to Google Cloud Storage, I can see that there was a bucket created here called NWEA map. And if I click into that, well, I have my CSV files. And so these will be updated every single night as the Google Cloud function gets triggered. Uh, that's really only, what, 30 triggers a month and the free tier here uh, covers 2 million. So that's how to move NWEA map data into Google Cloud Storage. The next video is gonna cover how to query those CSV files from Google BigQuery to start to build tables for your analytics work.